I'm going to give a little information for the public. This is the first time we've done this, so just bear with me as I go through some comments about the structure and operation of the Parish Council. Your Parish Council has formed a communications work group to discuss suggestions for improving communications with the public. I encourage any members of the public wishing to participate in future discussions of this work group to contact the Council Office. It is our desire to be better at our jobs and to ensure fairness and transparency in all of our operations. To help provide some clarity and understanding, I will speak to certain items of our operating procedure before we begin our meeting tonight, the balance of our meeting. First, I want to explain the difference between an ordinance and a resolution. Basically, a resolution simply states the intent of the council. It does not have the force of law. It's enshrined in the uh, Home Rule Charter, and it describes, for instance, the ability uh, the council will give permission to the administration to move money is a, an example of a resolution. Ordinances, on the other hand, have the force of law. We handle ordinances in two steps in the parish council. The first step is the introduction of an ordinance. So after we handle resolutions, you'll hear us discussing the, intro the introduction of ordinances. This also is set out in our Home Rule Charter and starts the process of creating law. An introduced ordinance lays over until the next council meeting, during which the council and the public has the opportunity and responsibility to review the ordinance and prepare for the public hearing, which takes place before the ordinance is approved at the subsequent meeting. I might add that the, we have an agenda review committee that meets the week before the regular council meeting, Wednesday night, same time, 6 o'clock. And I suggest that the public engage at the agenda review committee the discussion of the ordinances because the, uh, it's a much less formal procedure. We uh, do not, I mean, we generally operate under Robert's Rules of Order, but in a much more relaxed atmosphere. And many of the department heads from the um, administration are there in attendance to answer questions. And it's a, it's a good opportunity for the public to engage uh, the details of ordinances before they come into this body where we're a little more constrained, particularly with regarding time. What you will hear us do in just a second is begin pulling some items off of the consent calendar. The consent calendar consists of general items of council business, such as the minutes of the previous meeting, resolutions, and ordinances for introduction. Generally, we discuss these items fully at that agenda review committee that I just mentioned and do not review them typically at the council meeting in such detail. The consent calendar is voted upon all items together by one vote. However, an item may be pulled from the consent calendar by any member of the council or the administration or the public for discussion and introduction by a separate motion. When we then move to the items for approval, the ordinances for approval, the Home Rule Charter requires that the council, charges the council with the responsibility to, sh to ensure that all members of the public may speak on items in that public hearing setting. It actually refers to the ability of the public to speak to all items on the agenda, but particularly gives emphasis to the public hearing portion which occurs when that final ordinance is approved. In, that pub in those public comments, I will do my best to be as respectful and courteous to all speakers as I can. I ask that when speaking, that the speaker reciprocate in that spirit of courtesy. We're beginning a process tonight of utilizing comment cards. If you wish to speak about a matter on the agenda, please fill, fill out a speaker card that will be available uh, located at front at either end of the railing. Here's an example. And give it to a staff member at our staff table in front, uh, in, to the right, to my left, your right, of the uh, desk. So um, this particularly adds to our ability to collect the name and the address uh, for the speaker that is entered into the minutes by the clerk. That's been difficult. <clears throat> Note that the ordinances under which we operate limit your comments to two minutes per person, except in the case of appeals of uh, zoning commission uh, action, which provides five minutes per side. 
Time will be, is always kept by the parliamentarian who will indicate when you have exhausted your time. Please, when you're making your comments, address the chair and do your best to remain on topic. Make declarative comments, questions. If you have questions, they will be directed by me or the person in the chair after you complete your comments. If deemed necessary by the council, we will table the item under consideration until those questions can be answered. Or we may refer you to an appointment with the staff to discuss your specific questions. Please do your best not to repeat yourself or others that have spoken previously. So I will be happy to entertain procedural questions as we move through the agenda, but our, agenda, our uh, communications work group felt it was important to uh, brief those procedures with the public at this time. So thank you for your patience.